good afternoon. Hope you guys are having a great day. So yesterday was a busy day. I had a lot going on trying to get everything back in order from being on vacation. Still got more stuff to do today. It's supposed to rain though. We were supposed to have some chances of rain. The meteorologist was like late morning into early afternoon thunderstorms, but I haven't seen anything yet. Only clouds. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit. I hope we get some rain. It's really dry. I'm drying my green beans on the stalk and I'm opening up and several of them look like they're drying out really good. And this green bean has a brown seed and I am going to have plenty of these for next year, which is really good. I leave the plants from the summer harvest that I planted in the spring and I just let them dry on here and then I'll remove them and take them to the basement and we'll have green beans for next year. Some aren't quite ready yet. I wait till they're completely dried up and really crispy and then you open up and the seed is brown inside. Some green beans don't have a brown seed, but these do, the ones we use. They're um, a stringless, a bush, and we love them. Y'all, my zinnias still have some life in, in them. Look at them. And I've got butterflies everywhere. My yard, my flower garden is full of butterflies. They're just, if you just stand and look, they're all over the place. I love it. Seed saving off these beauties. They were one of my favorites. I love the texture of the petals, the way they are. A little bit different than your average zinnia that you see. And I really think I got this at the dollar store. They're so beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna break these open and store these in my mason jar and make sure you put a label on where you store your seeds so you don't forget what they are. Now that's how dried up they are. They are very dried up. Now they look just like the seed that was in my seed pack when I opened them up to plant them. They're nice and dried out, dark brown. And they're gonna go in here. So for next year, it's a guaranteed I've got seeds in case you can't find them. All right, y'all, I've got a lot more, more to pick. Just gotta figure out a way to get these deer out of my garden. <laughs> All right, I decided to come back outside because the sun is going down and it is much cooler. It's starting to feel like maybe the evenings are starting to cool off a little bit more. So, kind of a sign that fall is not too far. All right, y'all, I've got this big sunflower back here but I want to get the head off of it because I want to seed save from it. I've been meaning to cut it, but I've been doing other things. I'll tackle it. Oh my. Ooh. That bee did not like that idea. Wait a minute. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I don't think I got the right tool for the job. That's skin. Oh, that's. Oh, that thing was heavier than I imagined. Look at that. Don't check it out beside my foot. Look how big it is. Wow, look at the seeds on that thing. Amazing. Whoa. That thing is heavy. That thing is super heavy. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. So cool. 
y'all. This thing is amazing. It is the biggest sunflower head I've ever had. So I'm going to save these seeds and plant them again next year in the hopes that I'll pick the biggest one off the one I have next year and just keep doing that to see if they expand every year and I get a bigger sunflower. So cool. So I've decided to start some lettuce and I'm going to do that indoors and then I'm going to transplant it out into one of my raised beds. Alright, so I've got two types of lettuce that I'm going to start. I've got the black seeded Simpson and I've got the salad bowl lettuce. And these are supposed to tolerate a little bit warmer temperatures and be slow to bolt. So I am going to try these in here and it's saying I can do this August through October. So I'm going to do on this side of my greenhouse which is a little bit cooler and we'll see if they germinate in here. over here to retain the moisture in here and I'll leave a light on them for 16 hours and we'll see what they do and we'll see how long it takes them to germinate I think it's saying on here seven to ten days for seedlings to emerge all right so my neighbor he gave me a stapeliod so I have another sapelia that is called the Hawernia zebrina. You guys have seen it. It's my lifesaver plant. It has the cutest little blooms on it, which bloom all year in the greenhouse because it just loves it in here. It doesn't have a bloom now, but it will. I see some actually coming out on it, so probably within the next couple weeks, probably have another one. But he's got a bloom over there that is exquisite. I'll have to, I'll have to go over there and want to look at it. But they have blooms on them that actually, some of them smell like rotting flesh is what they say. But my lifesaver plant doesn't smell because I've actually bent down there to see if the bloom has stunk. I don't smell anything, but he said this one kind of does stink. But it has a really big bloom that's super cool. Um, I have another one that I just repotted earlier today. And I'm not sure if it's the same variety that he gave me. It looks very similar, but he said it has an awesome bloom on it that's really big. Now this one's been in here for at least a year and I've not seen any blooms, but it kind of looks like something is trying to come out right there. So I repotted it and put some flower tone in here and we'll see if that does the trick. I hope so. So I've also got to go down to the garden and see how many tomatoes are kind of left over. I'm kind of tomatoed out this year. I've just done so many and they keep coming. And my freezer's full, but let's go down there and see what's down there. And also I gotta cut some okra, so that's what I'm doing. Well, there's wasp everywhere down here. Two eggs, we got some slackers going on. <laughs> I'm thinking they're gonna be molting before too long and they do slow down when they do that. Morning glory. I want to show you guys this tomato that was growing down here on the driveway. I showed you last month how it started coming up. Well, look what it's done. It literally volunteered right out of the concrete. Look at that. It's got buds all over it. And it's got its first tomato. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? It's crazy.
right y'all i've got to water my greenhouse before i go in but i thought i'd run over here to my neighbors to see if his stapelid was still blooming but it's not so boo-hoo i didn't catch it in time to show y'all um but i want to show you a couple other neat things he's got well he's got all kinds of neat stuff but he's got lots of carnivorous plants those are a lot of things he likes to grow and they are so cool of course a lot of them go in the greenhouse in the winter time but look at that he gave me some of those they're really neat i love those he's got some around his pond so cool some zinnias stroll through his greenhouse <laughs> I don't know that he has a whole lot in here right now. He takes a lot of his plants out in the summertime. Lots of little starts. Ooh, check out that pretty bloom at his pond. Is that not cool? Look at that. Awesome. Now he gave me one of these, and I think this is a mango. He said they get really big. He gave me like a start. I'll show you some of his pitcher plants. They're impressive. I love that one. So cool. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, wow. Very neat. Now that one's like mine, same variety. Those are just so cool, so interesting. I love stuff that's very tropical and exotic looking. Well, here they are. What are y'all doing? Well, we're gluing the top up. The guy we're building this for is a principal at a local high school. They were tearing out the bleachers at the high school, and we were able to get some of the bleacher wood from the original building when it was being built. You can see there's still gum on the bottom side of it. That's what the bleachers mm -hmm. were. And it's longleaf pine. Super pretty stuff. Really nice. So I didn't tell him, but that's what I'm making the tops of the nightstands out of. So it's going to be kind of sentimental to me, I think. I think he'll be pretty excited about it. But I've got the, got the drawers done. They look nice, work really well. Look good. That's going to be a thing for file folders, folder things like that. Yeah, so. Come along, the next thing we do is once the top gets dry, we're going to trim it up, get it put on the top, and then we're going to build the two hutches that go set on top of the nightstands, and it'll be pretty much wrapped up. We'll do some finished sanding and some, it'll be time for paint. And then install it. Cool. Then the model project goes really good. Nice.